Shame. Shame. Ladies and gentlemen, shame on anyone here who degrades and belittles the hardship as vile and revolting as slavery. To compare Hong Kong domestic helper as state modern day slavery is not just inaccurate but brutally callous to those found in servitude. Today, I will put a face on slavery by drawing your attention to brief examples of modern day slavery as defined by the United Nations High Commission for Human Rights. Our second speaker will show that overall in Hong Kong, domestic care giving is both simple and financially rewarding. Our third speaker will sum up our case. But, uh, let me just, uh, but before I begin, let me address several errors committed by the opposing team. We heard that how can it be, uh, how bad can it be for the, uh, for the, uh, for the helpers? Um, now, but surely this isn't the overall picture for the for the Hong Kong domestic helpers for working in Hong Kong, is it? If so, then why the over 80% of the helpers, according according to the Labour Department, are uh, come back again? Come back again last year, and let's not forget this is one of the most public, one of the most public places for them to work worldwide. And we also heard that domestic helpers can't get permanent ID, but surely not getting residency doesn't mean you are being treated like a slave. Now, according to the UN's High Commission for Human Rights, modern day slavery includes the sale of children child prostitution, child pornography, the exploitation of child labor, the sexual mutilation of female children, the use of children in war, debt bondage, the traffic of people for the sale of human organs, and the exploitation of prostitution. You may have noticed that the Hong Kong domestic helper is not on this list. Now, let's take a look at a girl by the name of Long Cross, who is in fact on this list. Long was snatched from her home when she was only 13 years old and prepubescent. She was sold to a brothel in Long Pan and coerced into servicing up to 20 clients a day for several years. She was beaten, electrocuted and constrained. Long Cross was painfully stitched and was stitched several times to re-virginize her. After aborting twice, Long became deathly ill and was ejected on the street, but not before being blinded by the brothel owner. I wish there was no need to cite such barbaric and heroic accounts such as Long Process, but if we are going to address modern day slavery, then we need to know what it looks like. And according to the UN High Commission for Human Rights, modern day slavery can be seen in the faces of children such as Long Cross. Are you brave enough to look? Because ladies and gentlemen, this is what modern day slavery is. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our first speaker drew your attention to the UN's definition of modern day slavery and asked you to take notice that the Hong Kong domestic helper was not mentioned. She also told us that to compare a domestic helper to a modern day slave is completely demeaning the price of those trapped in servitude. We were reminded that, frankly, the most felt was said that. Freedom can only be found when both economic security and independence exist. And I intend to show you today that virtually all our 230,000 domestic helpers enjoy both of these conditions. However, before I begin, I would like to point out where the affirmative team has gone wrong. Again, we hear of how terrible it can be here for domestic helpers. Things happen such as being physically abused and being underpaid. But then we must ask why do most helpers come and why do most come back if it is so bad? We also heard that they can't work when waiting for a trail, but they have the choice to go home. They are not forced to stay here. Now according to the Philippine Labor Department, the average income for a car mechanic is 144 US dollars a month, and postman 160, a teacher 237, and engineer 406. And at the top of this list is everyone ready? The Hong Kong domestic helper at 440 US dollars per month. Does anyone here know of any slave who makes more money than, than a chemical engineer? Perhaps the affirmative team could provide us with some example. Now, let us not forget that the armors here are a part of our life. They take care of our children, they cook and clean for us, they do the shopping, they take care of our elderly. 
they, they sleep in our home with our children, and we entrust our children's safety and lives with them. Does this sound the woe of his life? Furthermore, Hong Kong, unlike other countries, has created laws which specifically protect the rights of our domestic helpers. They have a minimum wage, a compulsory day off during the week, a compulsory two week vacation each year, transportation pay for them to return to their country, a compulsory health insurance, severance pay, long term pay, and stateless pay, compulsory food and accommodation allowances. And no one here has all of these benefits. And so, if the domestic helper is the equivalent to it to our modern day slavery, then we would need to ask the affirmative thing. What does that make all of us then? However, the very cross of this debate hinges upon the fact that all 230,000 domestic helpers have chosen to reside, work, and live in Hong Kong. The operative word in this statement, chosen. For when one chooses, one has freedom, and this that means that automatic domestic helper may suffer in a way of injustices, slavery, ladies and gentlemen. It's not one of them. Thank you. After the ladies and gentlemen, our debate on domestic helpers being the equivalent as a modern state legislative is now drawing to a close. From the beginning, we have reinforced the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt that for freedom to exist, one needs both financial security and basic independence, both of which Hong Kong domestic helpers have. And, but for a summarize our case, let me address a few erroneous comments made by the affirmative team. They have lost focus by citing a few drastic examples of how bad it is for domestic helpers working here in Hong Kong. Well, some examples such as being overworked and underpaid were given. Well, let's face it, if it were that bad, so many wouldn't come and most wouldn't return to Hong Kong to work. And it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, they said that helpers can't get residency. Well, the mere fact that domestic helpers want to stay in Hong Kong shows that Hong Kong is a good place to live and it is a good place to work and nothing like a slave economy. Now, I'd like to summarize our case. Our first speaker gave modern day slavery a face by adhering to the definition given by the UN High Commission for Human Rights. It consisted of horrific examples of troopers and others who couldn't better their situation because of their lack of choice. We were told that to compare this desperate resource to domestic helpers was simply nothing short of inaccurate and heartless. She painfully drew your attention to the Cambodian girl by the name of Long Cross, who endured rape, torture, and mutilation. She said that if we are going to talk about modern day slavery, then we needed to know what it looked like, and that it could be seen in the face of children such as Long Cross. We were all asked if we are brave enough to look. Herman, our second speaker, focused on how being a domestic helper in Hong Kong was both civil and financially rewarding. In fact, they earn more than that of a chemical engineer in their own country. We were all asked to try to imagine a slave on a better salary than a university educated professional. Furthermore, he told us that the armors, the armors were part of our lives, homes and families, and to describe them as slaves just didn't fit by anyone's standards. And he went on to point out that Hong Kong had more than the other places, including Indonesia and the Philippines, has set up more laws to protect and ensure the rights of domestic helpers. In fact, in some cases, their rights exceeded that of Hong Kong people's rights. One example given was the minimum wage. Therefore, we needed to ask the affirmative team that if Hong Kong domestic helpers were slaves, what did that make the rest of us do? However, apart from all of this, we will we have to ask whether or not the 230,000 strong domestic helper force was here of their own accord. Because ladies and gentlemen, that is what this debate is about today. And if we can agree that the old the vast majority of helpers have come and remain in Hong Kong on their own volition, then slavery has absolutely no room in this debate today. Thank you.